Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to use OBS to broadcast to Microsoft Teams on a Mac to create a much more dynamic broadcast. So let's get to it. <laughs> If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Microsoft Teams is a very powerful conferencing software that's being used more and more by educators and businesses to teach and grow during these interesting times that we're living through. Especially for educators out there, a lot of people are looking for ways to create dynamic learning environments to entertain and educate at the same time. This is where OBS gives you so many options. You can add media elements like video and audio, multiple cameras, share your desktop, share an application window like PowerPoint, or even a browser source. You can add overlays like lower thirds for powerful webinar presentations that will just make your broadcast look more professional. And it's really easy to add OBS to Microsoft Teams on your Mac, so let's dive in and I'll show you how to do it. Now if you're watching this, I'm gonna assume your organization is already using Microsoft Teams and you have it installed on your machine. You can install OBS Studio with the link in the description. It's a standard install and it's free to anyone. Once OBS is installed, we need to add a plugin that will allow us to use it as a camera in Microsoft Teams. To do this, first we go to this site here and download the NDI plugin for OBS. And you just scroll down and we're going to select the Mac OS package right here. 4.9.0 but it might be updated when you watch this so just get the most updated one that you can once we download it we're going to double click it down here in the bottom left click continue then install it's going to ask you for your credentials you just slap those in there and click install software and then close and move to trash and now our ndi is installed next we want to install the new tech ndi plugin this is going to give us the ability to take that NDI signal and feed it into Microsoft Teams. So here on the New Tech website, we're going to go to NDI, we're gonna select NDI Tools, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna click Download for our Mac version. Then you just have to fill this form out right here and submit. Once you submit, it brings up this box here. You wanna download both of these tools. Now we're going to go to our downloads and we're going to select the New Tech NDI driver for Mac. We're gonna go ahead and double click on the package and allow it to install. Just click continue and then more continue and then agree and install. Go ahead and put your credentials in and click install software and then close. You can move it to the trash then I'm going to click on the New Tech NDI Tools. And first I'm going to install the New Tech NDI Video Monitor. This is not a necessary part of the actual install, but it's something that's nice to have just in case something doesn't work right. Then you have the monitor you can go and take a look at. The install is basically the same. You just click next, next, next and install and put your credentials in and close and we're good to go. And then we're going to click on the New Tech NDI Tools once again. The next thing we want to install is this NDI Virtual Input Package. And it's just the same thing. Continue, continue, agree, install, put in your credentials. You will have to reboot after this install is complete. You click Install Software. And then you want to go ahead and restart your Mac. Now we want to open OBS and we're going to go up here to Tools and we're going to click on NDI Output Settings. If you don't have NDI Output Settings in your tools, something went wrong with the first two installs and you're going to want to go back and see where it went off the rails. And we want to check the main output box here. That means OBS is now sending a signal out that's NDI. Next, what we want to do is we want to go into Applications and we want to start our NDI virtual input. This is going to take that NDI signal that OBS is putting out and convert it into a camera signal that we can put into Microsoft Teams. Now we can see it appears in the tray at the top. We just click on it and we select our OBS and you can see it puts a check mark on it when it's selected. 
You can also go over here and select it if you like. And now all we have to do is go ahead and open up Microsoft Teams. Once you're in Teams, you want to select Meetings. Then I'm just going to click on Meet Now and I'm going to go into internal mic and speakers, this little gear here. And on speakers, I don't need to change anything, but on microphone, I'm going to select the NDI audio. And on camera, I'm going to also select NDI video. If you see nothing but the FaceTime camera here, it is a problem with signed applications on newer Mac OS's. Here's the fix. You can go to this web page and the text for the fix is right here. These are just commands you're going to put in terminal to unsign the Microsoft Teams app. Once you unsign the Microsoft Teams app, then it will work just fine. The actual commands you put in terminal are in the description as well, but there is a link to the web page if you want to know a little more information about what's actually going on. All you have to do is reboot Teams once you put this information in and you're going to see all of your cameras and everything. You may have to do this every time you update Microsoft Teams. That is a possibility, at least until Microsoft fixes it in the app or Apple fixes the signing problem. Now it brings it in and you can see here that it's obviously reversed. Well, don't be alarmed. It will still look absolutely fine on the outgoing stream, but for some reason, Microsoft thinks that we want to see the mirrored image. I don't know why that is, but that is what it is. Now, one of the things that's negatively affecting the way this appears on my teams is first of all, the fact that I'm recording the screen, which always adds just another layer of encoding to the machine that it already can't handle. When I look at the stream stats here in the top right of OBS, you can see that I'm skipping a buttload of encoding lag frames. That means my Mac is just not able to keep up with producing the encoding frames that it really needs to to be able to make this a smooth broadcast. And if you have an older Mac, you're probably going to run into the same problem. Now, it doesn't mean that it won't work, and it certainly does work a lot better when I'm not recording the screen, but the simple fact is that it doesn't work great on my Mac. If you don't have a pretty sweet Mac, you're gonna struggle with this process. And here's the reason. I have a 2015 Mac with a dedicated graphics card and 16 gigs of RAM, and it's a pretty decent machine. But it really struggles to encode both OBS and Microsoft Teams at the same time. And you might run into the same kind of problem. I really hate to say it, Macs do a lot of things really well and live streaming is not one of them. So some of the problems that you may run into is out of sync audio, lagging video, all of the kind of things that you can kind of see here, it's really choppy. And that is because if I go over here and I look in OBS, I can see that my encoder's just not keeping up with what it's trying to do. And this is only really the fault of the machine. And I can change my encoder settings all day long, which I did. I played around with these for a really long time. I even downscaled the entire test broadcast I was using right here to 720. And it still struggled. So if you don't have a much newer machine than the one I have here, you might struggle with this process. And it sucks because it really does work well when you have the right equipment. So just keep that in mind. If you're a PC user and you want to know how to use OBS with Microsoft Teams, there's a video coming out in a couple of days, and as soon as it's out, I'll link it right here so you can check that out. There is a lot of competition for video conferencing software these days, and some people really love Zoom, some love Microsoft Teams. What do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see the easiest way to live stream with guests, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.